Yes, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. We're in the middle of a uh, snowstorm, Diego. Actually, we're at the tail end of it. I've already had these plows out. I've had the Husqvarna GT 52X LSI out and doing some plowing with it and the dozer blade it came with. But this storm was big enough that uh, I decided to break out this, which is the K2 Summit Rampage. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting name for a plow, but it works pretty well. This is a, a home plow. This is not something you would want to use professionally, although I suppose you could. And instead of being operated off of hydraulics, it has a manual lever for the three positions. Change it to center, left and right, basically through there. And the raising and lowering is done through uh, just a conventional winch with a cable. And it works pretty good for that. Um, this is the fifth year we've had this. Most years I have it hooked to my truck. But this spring I got this Kubota BX and we decided to put a front receiver hitch on it and I've been using it uh, uh, for this and it works pretty well and I'll show you the problem with that is that it has to have a drop hitch and you extend the thing out so far from the tractor it makes it a little bit unwieldy but uh, that's not really a fault of the, of the snow blade. But uh, if you want to come around over here I'll show you some of the finer functions here. Okay so back here you can see that uh, here's how it operates. It's got a safety mechanism here but this is the winch which is cable operated, that controls your up and down. And there's a switch in a switch box, I'll show you that inside here in a second. But uh, springs, just like a conventional, any conventional plow, so if you nail something too hard, it's going to bounce. It does have skid plates, I've never had to replace them, so that's pretty heavy duty. And they're adjustable height, like, like any plow would have, really. Um, this is the mechanism to allow you to shift from forward to left to right, and it works pretty well, it's held up well over the years. And here's your pivot point. Um, and cabling here going off to the switch box. So fairly conventional. The, the one thing I will say is this unit is extremely heavy and is very uh, unwieldy. Let's put it that way. It does come with these adjustable wheels here. So when you're done using the unit, you're supposed to lower those down, lay the unit down on the ground. That way you'd be able to roll it around a garage. But who wants to have something like this in their garage for the entire year taking up space? So for 99% of us probably... You're going to have this thing sitting outside, and those wheels are absolutely useless for rolling around in gravel or, God forbid, dirt. So, uh, in fact, the back one here is missing. I think it bolts on. It bolted on back here, and it's it rusted, and it was just too much weight, so it broke that off, and I need to fix that at some point here in the, well, in the spring, probably, when I take this back off. But let me have you come in a little closer here, and I'll show you how this thing hooks up. It's just a two-inch receiver. And then you can mount it to any truck with a two-inch front hitch. It's made for, obviously, something sitting low below a, a front bumper. Uh, and it works great on the truck. For this, to have it up that high was too high, so I had to get a drop hitch. And that pushes the weight a lot more towards the front because you're having this thing stick out that extra foot or so. Uh, but it does work, so it's, it's worked on a Kubota. If you have a BX series and you want to maybe put a front receiver on, you could use one of these for that, so... Uh, Let's follow the cabling up here. I'll show you the control switch, and that'll pretty much wrap it up. Okay, so the wiring comes up through here. I've got it tucked in inside of here, and it attaches to the battery. This is your main control box here, and uh, God, I hope it's waterproof inside of there. <laughs> but it has a cabling here, and then it really runs just to a, basically an up-down switch. Now, this unit does come with a wireless one for inside of the car. However, I've never used it. I, even when I had the truck, I just ran the cabling through the uh, through the windshield, and that worked fine for me. But I guess for a bigger vehicle or something that was farther away from the from the plowhead itself, you could use that. So overall, I give it a an eighty percent. I give it a B. I know these things, in order to be built well, have to be heavy, but they really cheapened out on on the rollers, on the way to deal with this thing. Maybe they could have made it where it had a release pin and it came into two or three different sections when you were done. That way you could move it around a little more easily. For that, I definitely have to take away some points. It, it's back-breaking to maneuver this thing, and especially on the truck, the first time you have to hook it up for the season, it, it's a real pain. So um, that's about it. I am Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. I've got some plowing to do right now, and, uh, well, I'll see you next time. Take care.
there's always something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Freedom is mighty sweet. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point.